What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today, man. We have This Is What Really Happened The Other Night by Jay Cook, man. Let's get right into this video. Let's see exactly what went on with K Swervo, LeJurs, um, Jay Cook, and Reese, all right? This whole situation is crazy as hell. I just know one thing, all right? You shouldn't mess with folks, folks, if you can't back up what the fuck you're doing to other folks, folks, okay? Because not a lot of people are going to be okay with you spitting on their family member, their blood, and you expecting nobody to do anything about it, all right? Basically, make a very long story short, um, me and my brother go to a uh, local Forex uh, meeting. We decided to, you know what I'm saying, learn to make some more money. Um, shout out to everybody doing Forex. That's a very great investment, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely smart to uh, take your time and put it into another uh, uh, stream of income, you know what I'm saying, and try to learn a different way to make some money if something's not working, you know what I'm saying? So um, if that's your case, I say give it all you got and go all in with Forex because it could definitely be your... Uh, your outlet to making some more money say so me and my brother went to go learn about this forex meeting you know what i'm saying i wanted to learn about some money um i wanted to gain another stream of income all right um, my money's good over here but i definitely wanted to learn you can always add more income, to the you know pot. seven streams for a millionaire um always. and uh when i get there you know what i'm saying i'm approached by a a big a big father you know what i'm saying a whole daddy oh, no. and uh you know a couple dad uh dad and a, and a couple uncles you know what i'm saying decide to uh be so pressed that um me and my brother decided to learn about some forex hmm. um, meeting which didn't make no sense to me um getting a fight with them like i said this ain't no social media shit to me so like i'm not like like when it comes down to beef with people like i don't beef with people to get views or to get clout, you know what I'm saying? Or to like think it's like a game and just keep playing with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just kind of like childish to me. So uh, whatever I say, when I say it, I mean it. And if I say I'm a- I wonder if they actually went to the event for the reason of actually trying to check out Forex, okay? Because I know that Justice has said previously that he has friends that do Forex, okay? So I'm wondering if this was all a coincidence or if him and his brother was actually trying to talk to dude about him spitting in Jersey's face. I wonder if he's going to address that or not, but we'll find out. Let's go. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. And if I say what happened is that's what actually happened. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no cap when it comes down to me and story times and like having problems with people. Um, I found out that uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend had a spit in her face about a month ago. Facts. Ever since then, That's I won't wild. lie, I, I was feeling some type of way about it, but uh, it? you know, when it comes down to like little kids, whether you're 18, I'm just not really gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna like, I could really dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really gonna dog somebody like I really could, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'ma just, I'd rather deal with your daddies and your uncles, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I guess that's what happened. Um, I went in there to learn about a Forex meeting and that, that's, that, that's what, that's what happened. Uh, I got pulled, a, a gun got pulled out on me, got Whoa. pointed at me, uh, by wow. one of, um, some little aunties and some mommies. Um, wow. that was a whole, it was kind of, it was a very funny event. Like, it was like some aunts or some moms, like, crawling on the floor because Jeez. they were so pressed. This nigga K Swervo's family is more gangster than him, bro. Wow. That me and my brother were at this Forex meeting wow. and felt very uh, intimidated. And it was so funny, too, because, like, even when, uh, after the whole situation, you know, we're talking to the cops, uh, me and my brother did get charged with, which I'm perfectly fine with because with uh, I defended myself. With the uh, what, guys? Anybody who can read lips, comment down below. Cops, uh, me and my brother did get charged with. Which I'm perfectly fine with because uh, I defended I myself. I ain't, I ain't start nothing, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Cool with me. It was just so funny because when I was talking to the cops, some like mom, I don't even know who this mom is or like whose son she's, I'm, I'm assuming she's a, some kid that's, that hosted the Forex event. Um, she mm -hmm. came over there to the cops and started screaming, please arrest them. I'm in fear for my life. Oh my God. But y'all niggas and pulling out guns and Me and my brother were just laughing like, we don't have no problems with like, Nobody is trying to kill nobody. We ain't got no type of problems. Like, we just, that shit was just funny to me. So, yep. Basically, that's more of the story. But other than that, um, I do want to give you guys a cool little, uh, since I know I have all of you guys' attention. I know you guys are waiting for me to say some spicy. 
know what I'm saying? That's how social media works. When something happens, you know what I'm saying? Y'all only True. interested in the drama. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Might as well take advantage of that and drop a dope vlog that I've been wanting to drop, but I just didn't know what the title could be. So I was like, huh. being completely honest, now uh, since people want to try to make big things and make me just go up more than I'm already going up, um, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little vlog so this vlog that you guys are about to watch is actually from miami halloween we all right so that's what justice had to say man leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the situation in all actuality whether they showed up with the intention to do something or not the fact of the matter is you should never spit in anybody's face you should never put your hands on anybody okay i feel like spitting in somebody's face is the ultimate disrespect it's the ultimate sign that you do not respect somebody, man. And the fact that K Swervo is just totally off of Instagram, that should show you, man, because if he's actually telling the truth, why would you deactivate your profile, bro? Why would you deactivate your profile? And in ju when Justice went on live, he specifically said that K Swervo, he didn't know that they knew that he spit on their little sister so he knows now so he's probably like oh shit i really fucked up you know that's the reason why whatever the case may be at the end of the day is this a child shot is this a childish situation yes it is but don't mess with folks folks if you ain't ready for that smoke if you are not ready for that smoke with other folks folks don't fuck with people's folks man Keep your own hands and feet inside your vehicle. Keep your spit inside your body. That's all you have to do. Cheating is one thing. But when you disrespect somebody by spitting in their face or putting your hands on that person, bro, you've taken things to a whole nother level. And you cannot play victim when family members feel some type of way and they show up to your event to find out how to make some money right but anyway guys let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below i'm still a supporter of justice i feel like he does his thing reese he does his thing as well i feel like the whole family they're all going up together man so how can i hate on that how can anybody hate on that man it seems like you know it's just another thing that happens in life that we're all able to see because they are influencers but anyway it's no different than what Brent and Uncle Joe, who's still a hoe, and everybody else is going through right up the street, man. We just don't know about that because it's not publicized, okay? But anyway, I love you guys so much, man. I will see y'all in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Let me know how you're feeling today. I hope you're living a life of love and joy. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace. And we out, baby.